Well, welcome back, everybody. Last night, well, not last night, but actually yesterday afternoon, we actually went and saw Sound of Freedom in the movie theater. And I must say, it was pretty touching, right? Mm-hmm. Now, you know that the uh, the liberal media, they're actually trashing this movie? No, oh, what did they say? They're, they're calling it like... um. Like a Q- QAnon conspiracy theorist stuff. I mean, they're they're trashing the movie, and it really, I believe, that exposes you know the hypocrisy of uh, the media. It seems like you know they want to shield for like big Hollywood mm-hmm. when uh, big Hollywood has had their own um, issues with um, uh, things they've done to women, uh, raping, and Harvey Weinstein and all of that stuff. It's pretty pathetic though. But this video is not about that. We're actually going to be talking about um, this movie right here. Um, I teared up. What about you? Yeah, I cry uh, in the beginning. I mean, at first, in the beginning, it's kind of like hard to understand. I know he's a police and like catching the 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 sex traffickers. Yeah, and um, but then like. You know, I didn't get it where, like, the guy got caught and then he's, um, you know, talked to him. and But then, like, later I find out he was just, like, being a undercover or something. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was kind of using, I guess you could say, some unorthodox methods to um, actually uh, capture the first guy. At, well, they didn't really have much problem catching him, but... He wants yeah. to go deeper. He wants to go deeper, and he made he made the um, the uh, the pedo guy seem like, hey, I'm actually kind of one of you, even though I'm working for the law. And then, then he gave up this one little boy to him, say, hey, you can like have him for the weekend. And then he said, all right, thank you. You're under arrest. He yeah. Was, it was all a, it was all a sting operation, really. But the bigger part is actually trying to find that little girl's uh, little boy's uh, sister. Uh, down in uh, Colombia, and really, I would say the first, um, the first twenty, thirty minutes of the movie—that's the most emotional part, right there, because yeah. you're seeing the inner workings. You actually see like um, Jim Caviezel's character actually watching uh, what's happening to these kids on um, on like a video, because you know that's his job, and you see the tears rolling down his eyes, even though they don't actually show any of the actual stuff. Yeah, and then it also. Auto show I uh, is emotional when um he uh find the 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 kid yeah the little boy yeah and yeah. then um the kid um told him what happened and there's a flashback there is flashback yeah it's very emotional it's very emotional I mean the best actors in the movie of course Jim Caviezel is excellent but to me it's actually the kids because. The kids are what actually, to me, drive the emotion, and I'm pretty sure that uh, these child actors they were not they were not actually told about. Hey, this is what your character is actually going through. I'm pretty sure they didn't, they didn't tell them. Hey, um, your character has been raped. I'm pretty sure they didn't tell those child actors that. So, for them to actually get that kind of emotion out of child actors in such a um, sensitive subject, I mean that speaks to. Um, the the excellence of the directing of uh, this movie, you know? Yeah. So I really, really did uh, like it. I would, And it's such a low-budget movie. And you know what? One thing about this, um, about the movie I didn't notice, there wasn't really any, um, like, uh, computer graphics, CGI. Everything seemed to be, like, on location. Now, $15 million, we know that the vast majority of uh, these budgets are spending... Uh, actually put into like a special effects. So that wasn't really the case because there really really wasn't a whole bunch of action in this movie, right? Mm-mm, not that much. It took like what, I would say like an hour and a half before the first gun was even shot. Yeah. So it, in a way, guys, it's kind of like um, Miami Vice light, I guess you can say, instead of uh, Sonny Crockett going out there uh, trying to go into cover for drug drug lords. Jim Caviezel's character, Tim Ballard, is actually going undercover to rescue children. Yeah, yeah. So that that's the way I kind of got got that feeling of um like Miami Vice. 
it was so emotional, man. I mean, and at the end, too, after the movie's over with, there's actually a message from um, Jim Caviezel. And while the credits are rolling, man, I was starting to kind of tear up from what he was actually saying um, about that as well, because he, he was talking about how Uncle Tom's cabin, you know, kind of like woke up the world into the evils of slavery. He wants this to be the Uncle Tom's cabin of uh, child sex slavery. And they say in the movies in the, at the end credits that even now when slavery is illegal, there's more slaves now than at any time when slavery was actually legal, you know, pretty, pretty powerful um, um, statement right there. So, I mean, I highly recommend that you guys watch this movie. I would actually give this movie a nine out of 10 on the scale. Mm -hmm. What what would you actually um, rate this movie? Yeah, probably so. Yeah. There's two... um, Funny scene that I like. Yeah, yeah. Su- surprisingly, man, there was actually some scenes where you actually laugh. Yeah. And you would think that a movie this serious, you wouldn't actually laugh, but you do laugh. Yeah, the first one that I like is, um, well, I mean, he was spending too much money um, in Colombia or something yeah, yeah. Where, to find a little girl. And, um, like, his boss, like, stop him right there and so um like he uh went to he started using some unauthorized method methods to get other people it was it yeah. was that rich guy i believe he didn't want to do it but and then he ended up doing it he ended up doing it because he actually showed a picture of um the of little the girl, girl with with a message and then when he go in yeah because the guy was like i'm done i'm leaving whatever yeah and then like he um the rich guy went back to his um apartment yeah, or his hotel. hotel. Yeah. And then like he he's just, shows in the picture and then um he, he walk smiled. he walks away and Jim Caviezel just has his smile on his face and, and it's just funny. It, it was kind of funny right there. So And then the second scene is like the rich guy has to be tried to be more um Oh yeah, because yeah. they're practicing on acting out because they're meeting with these uh traffickers and it's funny because um one of the one of the major bad guys in uh, this movie is actually a woman, mm-hmm. and it was actually this uh this uh this guy actually playing the role of the woman trying to greet him, and he's like, "Oh, hello, nice to meet you." It's kind of <laughs> funny because they're trying to act it out, act it out because they don't want him to seem like you know, like he's you know kind of fake or undercover kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. So that so. that was kind of funny um uh, too as well. Well, he kissed um his hand. He kissed his hand, and yeah. And then like um he said I like, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So a few there's a few laughs, surprisingly. Yeah. But um there was one scene that was uh pretty unrealistic. I'm not going into too many spoilers here, but this one area in Colombia is supposed to be like so bad that they don't even want to take him in there. They, they were like pretty much you go in there, you own your own, you may not come back, but here, here's some GPS so we can actually locate your body. Yeah. And so they bring him to the river, him and this other guy, and then these, um, these uh, I guess, guerrilla insurgents, um, uh, slave traders or whatever, start shooting their guns. That's the first time you actually have a gun in the movie. I'm thinking, all right, man, this is about to get really bad because they're going undercover as uh, doctors. However... When they take Jim Caviezel's character into the jungle, he kind of has like free reign to like walk around everywhere, right? Like it's mm-hmm. almost like um they're not really paying attention, and that is where the little boy's uh, sister is. And when he finally does escape with the girl, the uh, the drug lords, uh, well, not drug lords, but um the slave traders uh, guys kind of like fall asleep and they kind of escape. The escape was kind of easy. So, but well, we're dealing. We're dealing him. Yeah, he did kill the uh, the mate, the one bad guy. I believe that's the only death in the movie. They they fight, and, and he then does, he does slo- kill him. They slowly walk out the jungle. Yeah, yeah, in the in the heat of night. So, well, there was some catching scene, chasing chase scene. Yeah, that was a small chase, yeah. and with some gunfire. That's about the only what you could say action in the whole movie. It was still good. But I just think the escape was just a little bit too easy. 
Yeah, it is because like um when the other police, like the Colombia police, said like it's dangerous yeah. and stuff like that. Nobody goes in there. Yeah, yeah, and I thought like it will be like something like you know there might be a suspicion or like the police end up backing him or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Well, but anyway, I still love the movie. Yeah. Yeah. What would you rate it on a scale of one to ten? I gave it a nine out of ten. What would you give it? Yeah, probably the same thing. About the same, yeah. Had to ding it a little bit because the the escape was a little bit too easy. It could have been a little bit more drama. But um by the way, this movie was made five years ago. So Yeah. But fifteen million dollars, man, they use I mean, if you would have told me that this movie was made for thirty million, I was like, "Man, that's a good deal." This movie is made for actually fourteen and a half million, and uh, it looks like it's actually going to be profitable by the end of the week. So, yeah. but uh, I do love the ending. They have a happy yeah, ending. Yeah, the ending is uh, really, really good. It's really touching. Good. So, yeah. yeah, like, but throughout the movie is touching, and um, yeah, yeah, well. I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Oh, you have one more thing you want to say? Yeah, I wish, um, you know, they make more movie like that now today. Well, Angel Studios, if you go to their website, actually, I have it right here. I'm actually on it. You can actually um, look at their list of uh, movies here because this is like an app where you can actually watch their movies. It's not the cheapest thing. Some of the stuff is like um, $20 a month, um, if I'm not mistaken. But, um yeah, they have other movies on here. They're a young studio, so most of their uh, funding is um, from like um, crowd support. So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Go see Sound of Freedom. Let us know what you think about this movie, and we will talk to you guys on Monday. Goodbye.